Well, a bunch of stocks doing extremely well this morning. We have India Cements, which has moved to the high point of trade. Aditya Birla Capital has moved well as well. And Union Bank, GMR Airport. So, uh, you know, market breadth firmly in favor of advances. 2,200 stocks in the green. And that's a sharp reversal from the kind of advanced decline ratio that we'd be seeing in the last few trading sessions. Let's talk about... Uh, one of the other stocks on our radar right now, uh, that's India Mart Inter Intermesh. Uh, you know, it's, it's rallied about, what, 36% from the recent lows that we've seen on the stock. Uh, the founder of the company, Dinesh Agarwal, joins in to tell us more. And this after they have, out, uh, you know, given their outlook of doubling their business by 2027. Thanks a lot for joining in. Uh, you know, that's the long-term plan that you have. 2027, you want to double your revenues, take it to 2,000-odd crores. But in the here and now, can you give us a sense of, you know, the quarterly run rate that you're tracking, 250 crores is what you've been doing for the last couple of quarters. Uh, does that yeah. sustain? When do you go to 300 crores by? And the margins, you said the previous quarters, margins had bottomed out. How much uh, is the improvement that we can foresee from here? Yeah, so on the revenue front, you can take the guidance from the collections from operation and deferred revenue. If you see the collections from operation, <coughs> customers have been growing. And last quarter, it was 283 crores. And deferred yeah. revenue has also been growing uh, at 20, upwards of 25%. So we can expect this similar revenue growth in uh, coming quarters uh, on the uh, revenue as well. On the EBITDA or margin side, as I said, we have been investing behind the growth uh, in terms of manpower, in terms of technology. And uh, probably we are going to bottom out soon. And then we will start to increase as earlier, uh, slowly and slowly towards, uh, you know, 30-35 percent range. So, uh, you, you, you're saying you haven't bottomed out yet. There is some further downside to margins still. How much could that be, according to you? No, there could not be much. Maybe, you know, quarter four is always uh, uh, less margin, more uh, collections. So, that is what hmm. uh, is seasonal thing. But other than that, I think uh, from, uh, you know, probably the quarter one uh, next year, we will be... Uh, trading at the similar 28-29 percent and then it will probably start to move. Okay. All right. Hi, Mr. Agarwal. Good morning. Uh, you know, quarter four, normally you'll pay out those incentives uh, to your sales force as well. So sometimes I think that's the impact that you see in quarter four on margins. But yeah. going ahead, you know, the broad headline is you move from an annual run rate of around 1,000 to around 2,000 crores. That's by 2027. Split this up for us. That means that you have to go, grow at a CAGR of close to 25%. How much of it will come in from higher ARPUs? And how much of it will come in from higher subscription, paid subscribers? If you look at uh, historically, our paid subscribers have been growing in the range of 15 to 20% on a mm -hmm. longer term basis. And uh, ARPUs have been growing in the range of 5 to 7%. So we can expect a similar kind of... Uh, uh, revenue growth of about 20 to 25 percent in the times to come, given that in the past uh, year we had uh, good collections and good revenue increase. All right. You know, briefly you mentioned when Mangalam asked you about your margins, you said that after this you gradually start moving to the early 30s, if I got that number correctly. Yes. For FY24, what sort of a margin number will you guide for? Let's keep quarter four at the side. We don't want you to get in trouble with uh, SEBI and we don't want you us to know anything about the quarter that's gone by. But from mm -hmm. the outlook from year on, for FY24, what is the broad margin band? Should we work with the number closer to around 30%, maybe 28 to 30%? Yeah, I think uh, we will uh, target 30%. Let's 30%. see, you know, 29 or 31, I cannot comment, but let's target mm -hmm. 30%. Right. Okay. Let's see. Uh, you know, you said that... Uh, of the 25% CAGR that you're projecting, 80% would come from member additions and the remaining 20% comes in from ARPU growth. Uh, what does that leave uh, the room for acquisitions, inorganic opportunities and your current uh, acquisitions to scale up to? I mean, are we looking at, uh, you know, is, is there a plan that you have for a certain percentage of revenues coming in from inorganic acquisitions as well? So if you look at the busy acquisition, I think we are mm -hmm. doing well on that. Uh, Busy has been growing at 10 to 15 percent uh, before our acquisition, and now we have been able to increase the growth rate to upwards of 20 percent. And I think we will continue to maintain that. Uh, as you can see, we can generate we generate healthy cash margins, and uh, we continue to look out for uh, good opportunities in M&A space. Uh, let's see if we find anything uh, as good as Busy in going forward. All right, uh, Ms. Agarwal, 
you'll end this year, I think, closer to around 200 and 2,000 uh, paid subscribers, very roughly, early 200,000 odd. So going yeah. by what you're saying, for FY24, you should end with a number closer to 245,000, around a 20% growth on that base. I mean, I've been guiding that uh, we will... 8,000 per quarter. Eight, yeah, 8,000 8, per quarter. So about, uh, you know, 230, 235, we can assume. 235,000. So we've got a couple of numbers from you. One is the paid subscribers will at least go to around 235,000 with margins closer Not to around... 30 to 35, yeah. 30 to, okay, we'll keep it in that band with margins closer to around 30%. Now, yes. uh, out of your t total pie, how much of it will come in from this inorganic growth. You've done a few acquisitions, but how do you see, I mean, what is the current contribution? And those acquisitions are growing at a faster clip, right? So what no, will they contribute uh, in the so coming there, years? There's only one, I mean, 200% acquisition hmm. that we have done. Uh, one hmm. is the lighting, which is in very, very early stage. This is in the product right. market fit time. And uh, the other one is busy, which is doing about 50 crores of revenue. So you can add that 50 crores of revenue, which is already being added uh, in this financial year. So from next year, I don't think uh, you will see any additional growth coming in. Okay. And what and uh, what is the current cash in the books? The current cash in the books is about uh, 2,000 crores. Around right. 2,000 crores. So what do you use it for? Will you, if you're done with your acquisitions, will you look at some kind of uh, money being returned to shareholders? I asked you this the last time as well. But yeah, is that so, the plan? Uh, I, yeah, we, we have been guiding uh, that we will split our uh, collections into two, two different things. One is the um, investment and M&A, the other is the uh, return to shareholders. And we'll continue to do that. Just a couple of questions before we let you go. You know, uh, this is the other important uh, aspect of your business, which is suppliers. Close around 7.4 million right now. By when do you hit that 10 million mark? Uh, what industries are you targeting your suppliers coming in from? And, uh, you know, Paying subscribers close to uh, ARPU of close to around 49,000 uh, seems like you will easily cross 50,000 plus the next year. Where does that number settle? So, in terms of uh, number of suppliers, we, uh, you know, these seven, 7 million suppliers have GST and non GST both days. And if hmm. you look at the overall GST registered suppliers in India, they are about uh, 1.3 million or so. Uh, uh, 13, uh, 11.3 million, uh, 13 million or so. And out of that, I think we have still gotten less than 20% on our platform so far. I think uh, there is a lot of headroom to grow there. I cannot give you, but we have been growing at about uh, uh, 1 lakh sub subscriber every month, uh, 1 lakh uh, free sellers every month or so. Hmm. And I think it's a similar trajectory if we continue to grow, I think uh, we should be heading towards 8 million next year and then so on. Uh, look, what? depends a lot on India growth story and, uh, as well. And in terms of the paid subscriber, uh, we have only grown uh, recently very heavily. And I think that uh, percentage growth might uh, reduce, but as I guided, we will continue to try to add about 8,000 per quarter. All right, running out of time, not out of questions. Uh, Mr. Agarwal, we'll uh, you know, leave this for another uh, opportunity to interact with you, perhaps after your fourth quarter numbers. And then we'll detail about other things, including competition as well. Uh, take a short break. Come back on the other side. We will get chatting about markets, individual stocks, and perhaps get in a corporate conversation as well.